And our Pledge of the Day leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance is Elizabeth Peterson from the great city of Beersford. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come to you because we know, Lord, that you are the source of true wisdom and courage. And there are things we need to do today. Lord, we ask that you would help our minds be clear of the things that might interfere, family, friends, and stuff. But Father, we also pray that you would help our families be with them. We pray, Lord, that you'd be with the staff here today. And also, Lord, be with our military and grant them safety. And we'll be thankful, Lord, because we look forward to the answers to our prayers. For this I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Secretary, call the roll, please. Bradford, Brown, Buell, O'Donnell, Kamak, Hurd, Ewing, Fegan, Prairie, Greenfield, Hager, Haverly, Heinemann, Heinert, Holine, Hunoff, Jensen, Monroe, Nordstrup, Olson, Omdahl, Otten, Parsley, Peters, Peterson, Rampelberg, Rush, Shorma, Soho, Solano, Sutton, Tiedemann, Teason, Van Gerpen, Valley, and White. Approval of the journal. Mr. President, the Committee on Legislative Procedure respectfully reports that the Secretary of the Senate has, under, has had under consideration the Senate Journal of the 15th day. All errors, typographical or otherwise, are duly marked in the temporary journal for correction, and we hereby move the adoption of the report. Senator Kamak, Chair. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. Motion carried. We'll pause and welcome all of you to uh, the South Dakota Senate, especially those who are physically here and those who are watching. Just a second. Marta. Andale. Andale. Andale, Marta. It's, come here. Andale. Andale. E ora mismo. Ay, 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 chihuahua. Hi, everybody. Hola. Hola. Marta, we're going to give you a big round of applause here after we tell everyone what's going on. We're in a great country, and a number of people want to break into our country. And uh, Martha comes from Colombia, and uh, she came here in 2008, and she's been with us as a public servant since 2014 in our custodial support team staff. And... Uh, We've gotten to know her pretty well. All of you have, and the rest of our team members, too, with their great backgrounds. Uh, Martha or Martha? Martha. I like Martha. Yeah. Well, see. <laughs> it's, uh, tamales and hot. Uh, no. Yeah. You know what? What's the weather tomorrow? Chile today? Hot tamale? I'm no. from Colombia. You're from Colombia. <laughs> and I explained to her that people from Colombia, South Dakota, do speak uh, with a little accent. <laughs> <laughs> but we uh, love you very much. But here's the deal. It is so amazing. She's worked so hard, and she passed the naturalization exam. And on March 11th, she will become a United States citizen. Congratulations. happy. <laughs> um, thank you for everybody. Um, this is my new family. Uh, thank you, Jesus. And thank you, United States, for adoption me. I'm very happy. Let's also take the opportunity, a number of us have all, all had different types of jobs, and all work has dignity, especially young people understand that, um, that all work has dignity, and we are grateful. This place, this house of the people is made so beautiful by our staff here, uh, those that are up there and others who aren't here, and so let's give them a thanks for making our house so beautiful.
Okay, we'll go make us some salsa. Okay. okay. <laughs> hey, and pick up after you. So, okay. Those are those flowers are from the senators here, Marta. Then uh, I'd also like to uh, welcome Dr. Mary Milroy, uh, who is the doctor of the day. Dr. Milroy is from Yankton, and she is. Uh, a breast surgery specialist, and we're really honored to have her in the state, but she's also been a leader and the past president of the Medical Association, an incredible person, a good friend of all of ours, and her husband, Dan Johnson, is an orthopedic surgeon with OI, and we're both glad uh, that you're here today, and uh, looks like we pretty much have any surgical needs handled uh, right here if we need it, but both doctors, thank you for being here, Dr. Dan Johnson, Dr. Mary Milroy, thank you. If you don't know what a material data set is, uh, report, uh, we had to do that downstairs as people were making ice cream with uh, some volatile uh, things. I, I didn't see eye protection all the time, but uh, hey, you know, what's OSHA just but four letters, doctor? But we really, uh, we have heard actually since you've come to our state, Dr. Heather Wilson, who's the president of uh, South Dakota Schools of Mines and Technology, not only your leadership and connectivity with federal research and your prior experience in Congress uh, as a congresswoman, but also what you're doing in terms of fundraising and our match cooperations. Even yesterday, I'm talking with the Navy individuals about their experiences with a couple of your officers and your staff, uh, naval experiences that they have connectivity with. And a lot of that's with your leadership and the way that you're building that up. And so we're sure glad that we have you in South Dakota. And I know that the individuals at the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology are grateful too. So Dr. Heather Wilson, welcome. Mr. President. I'm sorry, Hi. Personal Senator privilege, Mr. Parsley President. granted, sir, thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. President, it uh, gives me uh, great pleasure today to uh, be able to introduce my wife, who's been here for a number of weeks this year, but uh, I haven't had a chance to introduce the beautiful lady of Madison. Uh, she is a 34-year educator. She taught thousands of students and enriched thousands of young minds. It's nothing more gratifying than walking through a mall and having people come up who are not much younger than we are saying, Mrs. Parsley, Mrs. Parsley. So I want to introduce my wife, Val. Good to see you. We'd also like to welcome on behalf of Senator Bill Van Gerpen as uh, they're coming in, the Scotland Junior and Senior classes here uh, to watch us today. We're sure glad you're here. Scotland High. We're going through some preliminary items before we get on to uh, our resolutions. And the first item is reports of standing committees. These are reports of the committees that have heard bills and that are reported out. We do that orally uh, because they didn't have computers when we put this whole state government together. And people would keep track of that paper and pencil, kind of a funny thing. But uh, we'll proceed with reports of standing committees, please. Mr. President, the Committee on Legislative Procedure respectfully reports that the Office of Engrossing and Enrolling has carefully compared Senate Bills 29 and 35 and finds the same correctly enrolled. Senator Kamak, Chair. The Committee on Transportation reports that it has had under consideration Senate Bill 85 and recommends due pass amendment. Senator Valley, Chair. The Committee on Local Government reports that it has had under consideration Senate Bill 95 and recommends due pass and House Bills 1036 and 1037 and recommends do pass to be placed on the consent calendar. Senator Ewing, Chair. Committee on State Affairs reports that it has had under consideration Senate Bill 73 and recommends do pass and Senate Bill 91 and recommends do pass amended to be placed on the consent calendar. Senator Kamak, Chair. And the Committee on Health and Human Services reports that it has had under consideration Senate Bill 108 and recommends due pass. Senator Rampelberg, Chair. 
Messages, please. Mr. President, I have the honor to return here with Senate Bill 29 and 35, which have passed the House without change. Arlene, Arlene Kavislin, Chief Clerk. And also, I have the honor to transmit here with House Bills 1054, 1079, 1090, and 1113, which have passed the House. And I have the honor to transmit HCR 105 and 106, which have been adopted by the House, and your concurrence is respectfully requested. Arlene Kavislin, Chief Clerk. Okay, our next order of business is motions and resolutions, please. Senator Sharma moves that Senate page resolution number two be adopted. And comments, good afternoon, Senator Sharma. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. It is my esteemed honor to thank the pages who have been here these past two weeks. They have been a delight. I trust that the experiences this week have first built your confidence and trust in how democracy serves the citizens' interests as we do go about our business. And secondly, I hope we have inspired you to remain engaged in the legisl legislative process in your lives. You certainly have inspired us. We'd love to be you know, 16, 17, 18 again. And so we, we live that through our grandchildren. Thank you for your selfless service and we wish you all the best in life. At this moment, I'd like to invite um, Senator Fredericks from uh, all those counties that he serves up there by Wilmot to uh, state a few words also. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Senator Fredericks. Uh, you know what this drill is about, don't you? Yeah. You bet, but you know, Mr. President, we were over on the other side when the, when the drill really happened, but that was fun. Uh, thank you, Senator Sharma. He, uh, he's done quite well, and we know we're proud of our new members, so thank you for the introduction. But Pages, uh, welcome for uh, the last time that we will get a chance to work with you for, for this session, unless those of you come back. But as the uh, Lieutenant Governor mentioned, uh, I was a Page when he was Speaker of the House, and so it all works out. I hope you don't wait too long to come back and serve in any capacity, whether it's as a legislator or even as school board member, city council, things like that. So with that, thank you for all your help, and please let us know where we can uh, return that favor. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much, Senator. Mr. President, we'll now award the Certificates of Appreciation. And I just want to say that I have a sweet spot for Elizabeth and Riley since I nominated them. Well, that's great. Why don't you have a seat, because we will need to vote first. <laughs> but I love that speech on civics. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm new here. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Representative Sherman. <laughs> hearing, hearing no really cogent further remarks, <laughs> the question before <laughs> the question before the Senate is uh, final passage of uh, excuse me, is the motion to adopt the Senate page resolution number two. Those in favor of that resolution will vote aye. Those opposed nay. Madam Secretary, call the roll and pages front and center. Stand up at attention. Bradford? Brown? Aye. Buell O'Donnell? Kamak? Aye. Kurd? Aye. Ewing? Aye. Fegan? Aye. Frerichs? Aye. Greenfield? Hager? Aye. Haverly? Aye. Heinemann? Aye. Heinert? Aye. Colleen? Hanoff, Aye. Jensen, Aye. Monroe, Aye. Nordstrom, Aye. Olson, yes. Omdahl, Aye. Otten, Aye. Parsley, Aye. Peters, Aye. Peterson, Aye. Rampelberg, Aye. Rush, Aye. Sharma, <laughs> Zoholt, Aye. Solano, Aye. Sutton, Tiedemann, Aye. Peasen, Aye. Van Gerpen, Aye. Valley, Aye. White. Aye. Mr. President, we have 32 yeas, 3 excused. Jeb Buell. Two. Two excused. Thank you. Senator Sharma's motion to adopt and approve the Senate page resolution, having received the majority vote of the members-elect, 
is past, and we express our appreciation and gratitude for all of your service pages. Ruth and Hannah, Mallory, second Hannah, Alexandra, <laughs> Lane. Hey, guys, up here from Scotland, look at this. Our sole page of mail, nice ratio. <laughs> Lane is great. <laughs> There's a smile. Riley or Riley, uh, really. <laughs> Catherine, Elizabeth, and the Maulmeister, Molly. We are so grateful for all your service. Seriously, for the students here, but also those watching, uh, pages may be juniors or seniors, more, most likely seniors, and it's a two-year, uh, two-year, two-week stint, uh, but you become lifelong friends, as uh, Senator Frerichs mentioned, and so what a great crew, and we really appreciate your help. Now go get somebody a pop, okay? Thanks. <laughs> Please proceed. Senator Brown moves that HCR 1004 be deferred until Monday, February 8th, the 17th legislative day. All those in favor of deferral signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed nay. Motion carried. House Concurrent Resolution 1005, a concurrent resolution urging the federal government to refrain from enacting regulations that threaten the reliability and affordability of electric power in the Northern Great Plains and House Concurrent Resolution 1006, a concurrent resolution commending and recognizing the numerous contributions made by South Dakota social workers and recognizing March 2016 as Social Work Month. Referral to committee on both HCR 1005, 1006 has been waived, so you'll see them on your calendar for Monday. Our next item is consideration of committee reports, please. Senator Brown moves that the reports of the Standing Committee on Ag and Natural Resources on Senate Bill 58 is found on page 209 in the Senate Journal, Senate Bill 71 is found on page 210, and Senate Bill 80 is found on page 210 of the Senate Journal, and the Committee on Judiciary on Senate Bill 79 is found on page 209, and Senate Bill 90 is found on page 209 of the Senate Journal be adopted. All those in favor of adoption signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed nay, motion carried. We have first reading of Senate bills. We do this orally here, um, again, for some of you students as you were coming through. A lot of things we do look strange. Um, this is the reading of the bill here, and then the number, and then the assignment to the committee where we heard it was because there weren't computers when this first started, so people would be sitting where you're at keeping track of the number, the name of the bill, which is the subject, and then where it's subject to hearing at a committee so that you could follow through if you were interested and uh, wanted to work on that. So we read that orally, although we've got that in our, uh, we read it out loud, but we have it in our computer. So we'll please proceed. Senate Bill 170, an, an act to appropriate money for the ordinary expenses of the legislative, judicial, and executive departments of the state, the expenses of state institutions, interest on the public debt, and for common schools. And Senate Bill 171, an act to permit and regulate the compassionate use of cannabis and provide penalties therefor. And this is our deadline for filing legislation. So uh, these bills come in and are assigned by the President Pro Tem to Health and Human Services for Senate Bill 171, Joint Appropriations 170. Senate Bill 164 was read uh, for its first time yesterday and today has been assigned for hearing in state affairs, so 164 in state affairs. And our next item is the same thing, first reading, but these are of House bills, please. House Bill 1054, an act to authorize the production and sale of industrial hemp. House Bill 1079, an act to permit the prescription and possession of an opiate antagonist in certain instances. 1090, an act to require certain statements and audits concerning insurance pooling arrangements to be filed with the Department of Legislative Audit. And finally, 1113, an act to exempt from the excise tax on motor vehicles the transfer of motor vehicles to a nonprofit organization under certain conditions. 
House Bill 1054 is assigned to Agricultural and Natural Resources, 1090 to Commerce, Health and Human Services shall hear House Bill 1079 and Taxation 1113. We have one item on our consent calendar. Our consent calendar is uh, bills, or in this case, an appointment. Uh, the governor has made an appointment of an individual to uh, a board or a commission that requires consent of the Senate under our Constitution. It's not subject to debate if it's on the consent calendar. It needs to be put there unanimously, but could be debated if somebody asked for that bill to be removed. We call it pulled, and uh, that we could have that uh, debated. At this time, we have not had that occur, so we will have a consent calendar consideration of executive appointments, please. The state proceeds to the consideration and the exec the Senate proceeds to the consideration of the executive appointment of Russell Olson of Lake County, Wentworth, South Dakota to the Game Fish and Parks Commission. So the question before the Senate is, do you uh, advise and consent to the executive appointment of Russell Olson to the Game Fish and Parks Commissions? Uh, I have wanted to ask this question for many, many years. Are there any questions about Russell Olson? <laughs> any questions about Russell Olson, who is probably listening and is it relevant to his appointment? No, we have not enough time, I've been told, for those who are listening. So, Hearing none, the question before the Senate is, do you advise and consent to the executive appointment of Russell Olson? AKA Russ Olson, to the Game, Fish, and Parks Commission. Those senators who wish to advise and consent will vote aye. Those who are opposed, vote no. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. Bradford? Aye. Brown? Aye. Buell, Buell O'Donnell? Aye. Kamak? Aye. Kurd? Aye. Ewing? Aye. Began? Aye. Frerichs? Aye. Greenfield? Hager? Aye. Haverly? Aye. Heinemann? Aye. Heinert? Aye. Colleen? Aye. Hanoff? Aye. Jensen? Aye. Monroe? Aye. Nordstrup? Aye. Olson? Aye. Amdahl? Aye. Otten? Aye. Parsley? Aye. Peters? Aye. Peterson? Aye. Rampelberg? Aye. Rush? Aye. Shorma? Soholt, Aye. Solano, Aye. Sutton, excused. Tiedemann, Aye. Teason, Aye. Van Gerpen, Valley, Aye. White, Aye. Brown. <laughs> Mr. President, there are 34 yeas, one excused. Thank you very much. The question being, does the Senate advise and consent to the executive appointment of Russell Olson of Game, Fish, and Parks Commission, having received a majority vote of the members elect, is here declared passed, and uh, his appointment is so confirmed. Senator Brown moves that the balance of the calendar be deferred until Monday, February 8th, the 17th legislative day. All those in favor of deferral signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, nay. Motion carried. It is so deferred. Senators, I have uh, quite a few bills to sign, so I won't hold you up. Why don't we just go to announcements? And Senator Holleen, did you have any? Sorry. Senator uh, Ewing? Thank you, Mr. President. We're going to give local government the weekend off, but we're going to be back Monday morning, room 412, 745 a.m. sharp. Thank you. Senator Kamak. Senate State Affairs, room 414, Monday, 10 a.m. We'll consider four different bills. Thank you. Senator Monroe. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Senate Taxation Committee, 10 o'clock on Monday morning. Okay. Thank you very much. Senator Rampelberg. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, we'll have Health and Serv Human Services, Monday at 10. Senator Valley. Senate Transportation, 8 o'clock Monday morning. Thank you. We're all in line. Okay. Again, I have some bills to sign, so obviously uh, be on your way. If you're traveling, please be safe. We need you back here. The Constitution requires that a presiding officer in the Senate as the president to sign bills that have passed both the House and the Senate to read their titles while in open session as I sign. So consequently, the president is signing an act to update the Nurse Practice Act 
and to adopt a new interstate nurse licensure compact. Senator Soholt. That is Senate Bill 29. President signing an act to update uh, references to certain federal motor carrier regulations. That's 35. President signing an act to define certain terms related to commercial fertilizer and soil amendments. That is uh, House Bill 1018. President signing an act to revise certain provisions related to milk sampling and grading licenses and tester and grader licenses, 1019. President signing an act to revise certain provisions concerning fire prevention and compacts related to the prevention and control of forest fires, House Bill 1020. President signing an act to allow child advocacy centers and travel agencies that provide child placement services to obtain results from a check of the central registry for abuse and neglect. That's House Bill 1021. President signing an act to revise certain provisions related to the use of another planned permanent living arrangement as a permanency plan for certain children. That's House Bill 1022. The President signing an act to revise certain codes and standards regarding fire prevention, 1030. The President signing an act to revise certain provisions regarding guaranteed energy savings contracts, that's 1032. President signing an act to repeal certain citations to federal regulations regarding pipeline safety inspections, 1038. President signing an act to revise and implement certain provisions regarding the regulation of risk retention groups, House Bill 1040. President signing an act to revise certain provisions regarding the recovery of certain insurance company provisions and annuity taxes, 1041. What you do look darling. Yes, you do. You do. <laughs> President signing an act to permit an order changing the name of a minor child without prior publication in certain instances, and that is 1062. Madam Secretary, rock and roll. Senator Fagan moves that the Senate do now adjourn. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Those opposed nay, motion carried. We are adjourned, the no may stay.
Our Pledge of the Day, leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance, is Elizabeth Peterson. from the great city of Beersford. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come to you because we know, Lord, that you are the source of true wisdom and courage. And there are things we need to do today. Lord, we ask that you would help our minds be clear of the things that might interfere, family, friends, and stuff. But Father, we also pray that you would help our families be with them. We pray, Lord, that you be with the staff here today, and also, Lord, be with our military and grant them safety. And we'll be thankful, Lord, as we look forward to the answers to our prayers. For this I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Secretary, call the roll, please. Bradford, Brown, Buell, O'Donnell, Kamak, Hurd, Ewing, Fegan, Prairie, Greenfield, Hager, Haverly, Heineman, Heinert, Holine, Hunoff, Jensen, Monroe, Nordstrup, Olson, Omdahl, Otten, Parsley, Peters, Peterson, Rampelberg, Rush, Shorma, Soho, Solano, Sutton, Tiedemann, Teason, Van Gerpen, Valley, and White. Approval of the journal. Mr. 